Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with today's load prompt. It's the Day 22 load prompt. It's based on the game Trivial Pursuit. So you're to tell a story about how um, your knowledge of trivia came in handy or was or impressed someone. And so my story is going to be about um, retaining a lot of the baseball facts that my son used to sit in the back seat of the car when we were driving anywhere and he'd recite these facts and he'd talk to John about baseball and I kind of absorbed some of that and so he'd have me uh, <laughs> when he was in high, that was when he was like 10 and then later when he was in high school he'd uh, if he had friends over and, and I was getting ready to serve dinner he'd say hey mom uh, who had the home run record in 1964 or something? And I would know the answer. So that was always kind of fun. Um, I don't now. Uh, I have not retained those um, facts as I'm distressing the uh, uh, mat around the photos. But we do, the, the thing that endured was um, our love of baseball and occasionally he will ask me a trivia question about baseball that I do know. And uh, he and John used to laugh when I got things wrong and they laughed when I got things right. And so it was always kind of, it was their thing that they shared and I every once in a while would be part of it. The technique prompt was to use um, a wedge or a divided circle. So, <laughs> uh, I had this this Scrap Squad Scrap Lift that had something that kind of looked like that up, up here. And I took a Vicky Booten um, mixed media, found a, a mixed media, pre-made mixed media page that had these wedges. And I cut this one and then I cut other pieces to kind of go over the purple, which doesn't really mesh too much with Astro's colors. And I'm going to kind of get it to have a higher uh, por proportion of um, blue and, and orange and red. So my photo is this one. Um, we consider John to be so much... Um, Part of any baseball outing, we go to an, a Braves game on or around on the weekend closest to John's birthday. And this was last year. And this was after the game we were eating at Papacitos. And we're dressed in our Astros gear. And so I can tell that story. It'll be something that I type out and put on the back of the page. And I'm going to try to see if I can, as part of the story, remember some of the... Um, statistics that James used to ask me. I'll have to ask him, hey, what did you used to ask me about? And and James and I still uh, watch baseball together. Um, and, and this year on John's birthday, I will be in Houston. And I haven't checked, uh, as I'm saying this, I haven't checked the schedule to see if the Astros are in town. If they are, it's the end of the um, Crafty Beach Bash um, <clears throat> uh, retreat where uh, we'll be having classes from both Paige Evans and Vicki Booten. Uh, and so on that day, if there's a game, I think I'm going to go to it. I think I might even go by myself. So, there. Uh, I love baseball, and, and I most people who know me know that, that I do. Um, let me get a, some foam to put behind the photo, and then I'll show you what I'm working on. I'll show you what I'm going to do. This one should be a quick one. I have that, this pie wedge. Let's, let's just get started on it. Um, I've got this piece, which I'm going to put over the purple and the green, and I'm going to put some foam behind it so that it's raised up, and I may actually distress it um, by... 
there's, as, uh, as John would say, if he were here, um, he would quote the uh, Tom Hanks line in A League of Their Own. He would say, there's no purple in baseball. <laughs> the uh, that that uh, I remember James gave me that gift. We loved that movie so much, and James gave me gave me um, I think it was a VHS tape of it <laughs> as as a gift for my birthday or something. The year that it came out, so I'm gonna put this. I, I don't think I distressed it enough for it to really stand out so I'm going to do that and I may raise it up a bit there okay now this narrow red one I'm going to kind of cover that green so there's not quite so much of it And I will put it on thicker foam so it's even at a different level from the one I just did. And let's see. Am I going to do it there? Because that's too much red all together. This one's going to go here. But it might actually be nice right there. And then I could do this one here. I think I'll do that. And let me get this one. This is going to take the longest. This um, uh, putting these guys on. The rest of it is going to be easy peasy. Um, I have some sticker sheets here and I saw something that I think would be a great title okay so this goes here where do I want it I'm going to move it over there so that we keep this red and this blue and we just have a tiny sliver of green and the green can work for the astroturf <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this down. It is not exactly um, the same as in the scrap lift, but I'm happy enough with it to go ahead and put it down. I'm going to place that kind of dead center. I have matted this with two other papers in that collection. The one, the only dark blue that was in the uh, in the papers was a stripe, and so I've I've pulled it out of there. I have a couple tickets that if I um, cut them short enough and staple them together uh, it doesn't there you can't see that they're subway tickets it'll look maybe like baseball tickets but if you took the marta to the braves game <laughs> it could be you could could maybe have tickets like this i'm gonna go ahead and put them right there and I'm going to save the other bits of that I have a um, a coffee ring that 
that I'm going to put here. Just to get a little bit of a mixed media look there with that ink. And then I can do something similar down here. Okay, and let me now start looking for embellishments. Have, have some fun. Uh, let's see. Okay, the title I want to use is A Story Worth Telling, and it is in this... Um, this book, it's the sticker book, which is really just uh, some sheets with stickers, sheets that form a book, and then the stickers are in there. They're not bound, but I'm betting that this is, yeah, it's thin enough that it needs a foam backing. So, I'm going to use the thick foam that will hold it up and let it kind of overlap the bottom of the photo. Like so, and then I can put some, uh, like, um, something <laughs> down, down there to give it a base. I'm all about having a base for my titles nowadays. I knew there was a reason, you know, you look at people's pages and you like them but you're if you're not a designer or an artist sometimes you can't explain what it is you like and a base for the title so the title's not sitting out in thin air is one of those things that is cool what I really like to do is that group of feathers, but it doesn't have any of the right colors in it. Not that they're wrong colors, but I'm going to use this bright orange ticket. I'm going to kind of scooch it up under here. And then I have a lighter orange circle that I'm going to scooch up under next to it, kind of overlapping it like so. And then I will try to figure out what to do next. <laughs> No, no idea. Um, I'm going to look for a, um, okay, I had seen there is something here that says, this is us. And I think that would be good to put right here on the photograph, but I want a little foam behind it so it appears to be standing up and not flat on the photo. And I may 
have something else that I wanted to use. It's this that says this here. And I thought, since it's multicolored, that I would maybe try to put it right there, but with some foam behind it to lift it up. And I'll put an embellishment around it, near it. So if I'm going to put that right there, the This Is Us should go here. And let me get this to put it on straight. Can you see what I'm doing? Are you? I guess that's a better view. Okay, I've got that. Don't have the backing off of it, but. That looks like a good spot for it. Um, let me get a, I'm creating a huge mess. Um, yeah, lift this up with bits of this tape. And it looks like I need something right in there, and that may be flower territory or something. These things stick so well to the back of stickers, of course, because it's two sticky surfaces, that if you happen to put it down in the wrong place, it's hard to get it in the right place. Okay, so I've got this. Now it's time to... Okay, now everything I just said is being, I'm being proved wrong. It's not sticking enough to the other sticky surface. Oh, come now. This. And I think this one is stuck enough. So, I'm going to go ahead. Put that down where it kind of overlaps a little bit giving me the opportunity to maybe place this bit of floral goody goodness. I'm going to do a piece of foam under one side of it. Let's see, I was going to do that. And so I'll put this here. And then the rest of it can stick flat. There's an orange typewriter. I'm really trying very hard to use. Okay, so I've got that kind of tied in with this little title bit. And I'm going to use this arrow that says keep going. Because that's what we do is Grandpa is not with us anymore. But we keep going to baseball <laughs> in his honor. <laughs> I have to tell you that, that after... Um, it was just James and me for six years. When John came along, uh, James was not um, not the happiest kid in the world to have to share his mom's affections. <laughs> so it was tough going there until they discovered baseball and until baseball kind of became the thing that they that they bonded over. Okay, so an orange flower down here, right at the juncture there. And that gives us a good little, 
Uh, okay. What a mess. I really hadn't fully cleaned up from this morning's page. And this morning's page you'll see on Friday. It's the Mixed Media Mayhem. Let's see, how do I want that? I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to find a an orange butterfly that works. I've got a, it, it's not looking balanced to me right now. So I need something to kind of balance it right here. And then I'm going to do something here and something here, maybe. We'll see. All right. That is works there. Let's now look for something that might be good. Okay, here's this sticker sheet. Not seeing anything there that I need to use. Okay, let's look at these puffies and we'll see. There's um, a thing right here that says it's a star that says super. Uh, and then there's one that says love, love, love this. I kind of like the love, love, love this. Which works right there. And then there is a puffy blue moth. That could be my balancing element that goes right there. And then it looks like I might need a not sure there's anything there that I need. Okay. Get this this. I'm not seeing anything here that I have to put on, so I'm going to move things over here. I, I, I think there is a vertical kind of um, line of twigs, isn't there? Aren't there some twigs in this line? I'm losing my mind or uh, everything that I... And there wasn't much to lose, if we're talking about my mind. There is a, it's not a twig, but it's a better size than the twig, twigs. It is a, like a leaf sprig that's black and white. And I thought maybe if I did it right here, I you'd still see the coffee ring, and it kind of kind of fills that in. I could probably use something else over here. Maybe my overlapping hearts. So let's do that. There is an orange heart, and I know there's a blue one. But what I think I'm going to do is go to the puffies. There were some gold hearts. Here we go. I'm going to put this right here and this right up next to it. 
like so. Still kind of seems like I need something to balance things, but I'm going to stop while I'm ahead <laughs> and um, and I'm going to call it done. Is there anything else? See, there's that really cute orange typewriter. And I have it in several sizes and several forms. If I put it here, then I'd probably need something over there. So like I said, I think I'm going to stop and and we'll we'll call it done. I kind of like this little orange um, push pin. I'm going to put some a thin strip of foam, a thin and narrow strip of foam. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to add a pencil into the thing because we do keep score. There. And here's the pencil. And does it want to go here? Ooh, I think it might go right there by where it says a story worth telling, as if the pencil is how you're going to tell it. Okay, we're done. I think we're done. <laughs> and it wasn't as quick and easy as I thought. It seems like there needs to be something right there. So, back to the drawing board. As I look at it in the... Um, In the, you know, when I turn it to the screen, <laughs> I, I see things I, in a different way, and it, I see the balance or the lack of balance more easily. So I'm going to put it right there. It's not a, a copycat flower, but it kind of fills in some visual space there. If I had a word strip, um, to go there. Okay, here's a little word strip that says days like these, and it's got a gold um, frame on it, so it looks great with those gold hearts. So I'm going to go like so with that. Okay. <laughs> now I'm done. I think I'm done. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.